Hey guys, it is Patrick. Before you get started with understanding debits and credits as well as how to do journal entries, I wanted you to know that if you go to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com, you're gonna find links to all eight lessons in this series. So if you get turned around or you don't know what the next lesson is or how to get to there, you can definitely go to my website, click on the next lesson, and it'll take you right back here to YouTube where you can view the entire lesson. Also, in the description section below, I've put a link to where you can purchase the notes for this series so that you can just sit back, learn more about debits and credits and doing your journal entries and you've got the notes right in front of you to follow along. So if you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com to purchase those notes as well as see all the links for this next eight lessons in this Understanding Debits and Credits and Journal Entry series. Until then, let's get going with your lesson. All right, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the expanded accounting equation, which is going to be a key factor in understanding debits and credits. So let's get straight into understanding the expanded accounting equation. So one of the things to think about is that the relationship between the six components that we've been talking about the last couple of lessons can be reflected in an equation known as the expanded accounting equation. The expanded accounting equation expands on the basic accounting equation, and truthfully, I understand the basic accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity or stockholder's equity, but I still think it, the expanded accounting equation is much better than the basic accounting equation. Now we need the basic accounting equation because that's exactly how the balance sheet is prepared. Assets equals liabilities plus stockholder's equity. However, what I think it doesn't impact on us when we do journal entries is that it doesn't include revenues, expenses, and dividends and those are just as important to the foundation of accounting than just assets, liabilities, owners, equity. So the expanded accounting equation is an important factor or an important part to understanding debits and credits. Now, the basic accounting equation helps accounts understand the impact of an economic event on a company's financial statement. But at the end of the day, I like the expanded accounting equation to help us understand debits and credits. So without going into detail, you know, how we get the expanded accounting equation, because there is a way that we get to the expanded accounting equation based on all of our fundamental knowledge in accounting, I'm going to give you the expanded accounting equation. So the expanded accounting equation is this. It is dividends plus expenses plus assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity plus revenues. So that would be our expanded accounting equation. Now with this expanded accounting equation, the question is how do we remember it? Well, we can remember it by using the acronym DEALER. DEALER represents our expanded accounting equation. Again, our expanded accounting equation has dividends plus expenses plus assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity plus revenue. Those are our six buckets that we basically categorize all of our economic events. And this is gonna help us understand the debits and credits. Now, once again, each account is part of one of these six components in the expanded accounting equation. So that's why it's important to understand this because we need this to help us understand the relationship of accounts, which is a part of journal entries, and then fundamentally the debits and credits. So that is the look at the expanded accounting equation. Pretty short, sweet, and to the point, just remember dealer, dividends, expenses, assets, liabilities, owner's equity, and revenues, and you're all set for the next lesson where we really explain debits and credits. So until then, we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking over here. And for more accounting content, make sure you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com or clicking over there. And for the next lesson, just click right over here. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.